soon as um, I went live, somebody came in. But in any case, I wanted to show you all some really cool stuff that I picked up. Uh, yeah, it is almost March, and I still um, have things that I bought in Haiti that I didn't uh, post. So this is a traditional cologne used in voodoo and other forms of magic, and people just like it. Um, these are expensive. This bottle here is 50 bucks, $49.99. And this is the lavender version, and I always mess up when I'm trying to speak in foreign languages, but this is Ben Etur. And it's a, and some of the people in the community actually came in, uh, some Haitians in the community, and asked me if I carried it. So I got a couple of bottles. I'm working with my Mambo to see how I can get them to you guys. Um, and there's so many different fragrances for this. So I bought, I've got two of these available. I've got about a half dozen of the traditional enamel cups. We use these in voodoo. Um, sometimes if we're putting water on altars, when we're dropping water for spirits, other people use them for different things. So we've got some of the, of the enamel cups. Another thing, I'm saving the best for last, if y'all didn't know that. Um, some enamel plates. These are excellent for lamp making and other things that we do in voodoo. So uh, people who know what these things are used for, get them. I like to have, I've been mixing my herbs in these enamel pots basically since I started. So that's another thing that's going to go on the website today. Um, and then Freda Cologne. This is also, this is 51, <coughs> excuse me. Ah, <coughs> I think this stuff caught a little dust sitting up here waiting for me to put it on the website. Freda Cologne. Um, definitely, if you, uh, is your, if your Met Tet is Azili Freda, if you work with Freda often, I love Freda. She is the patron spirit of our store, her and Azili Danto, and all of the Azili's. This, and it's just a beautiful cologne. So when I refresh my altar, I'll either use Pompeii or I bought my own bottle of Freda cologne. So that is also going on the altar. But, oh, bring me a jar, child. Charles in here with me today. And we'll turn the heat up because it's cold. We're making a lot of changes here in the store. We've put some shelving up here in the back because the child has all her astrological formulas now where our formulations used to be. So now we've got them out here. Um, in case people want working roots and baths and different things made up. Um, but we are actually, we found a really nice anti cuts. We were gifted one from someone. So we're going to actually have them in the store in the herb area soon. But we have to refinish the hutch. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really dusty at my desk because I don't get to clean my desk. But y'all asked for it. We, we are going to actually have more oils made in Big Liz. For, I mean, more body butters made in Big Liz oil formulations. And my daughter uh, is doing those, Trinity. And so we've got 13 more Florida water body butters on the website. So, um, and people, they sell out. Every batch she makes, she makes them 13 at a time. What a lucky number, right? But this is what I came on for. These are already on the website. So are the Florida Body Butters, but these. Um, I, I make candles. My daughter makes candles. And then sometimes when we are, um, are in need of a lot of candles, like a lot of fixed figurals at once and stuff like this, we order from Magical Misty. And Magical Misty um, has made these amazing skull candles. Now, I've seen these on the market before, but I haven't seen them with this type of quality and detail. They open, y'all. Check this out. So when you really want to get in a motherfucker's head, there you go. There you go. So you put your petition papers, your herbs, your roots, even little poppets right inside of here. And so I'm going to push the, uh, you can't see it because of the camera, push the wick back into the lid. There is no known mode for these. This is an ancient misty secret how these are made. Because um, I've, I've been looking for the mold. But Misty Mystic has really outdone herself with these hollowed out uh, candles. And, you know, like I said, they, they're being made. I've seen other uh, people use them, but um, there's no mold available. Then we have them in purple as well. 
very excellent. But we can get them in all different colors. If you guys want them, we will add more to the website. We only have three. We've sold the rest of them here in the store until, you know, because I didn't have time to put them up. But if you go to uh, biglistcontra.com and you hit shop all, um, then you will see that it's listed under the new one in it. Like I said, this one also has a hole where you stick the wick back up in it. And um, I've been I've been playing with this one a little bit, so the wick kind of is playing me right now. But in any case, um, lovely hollowed out um, hollowed out skull candles. See, so yeah. And then you just pull the wick back through. I'm so so special today, and you get the lighting. So these are amazing. These are skull candles. You know, in my candle magic class, I teach people how to fix skull candles. I use a drill or a Dremel. And I drill out the areas of the brain that I want to affect when I am working on someone's head. Now, these are in the, you know, commanding and fuck you up colors, but they can be in any color. So if you want to do a sweetening spell on somebody using um, a red candle, you could do that. Or love spell using a red candle or sweetening using a pink candle. You could, we could do those in those colors and you can put stuff in there too. So all head work spells are not used to really fuck somebody up. Sometimes we do head spells to get people's minds right. But in any case, um, rather than getting their mind wrong, I, you know, prior to getting these um, candles, and for those of you who have just tuned in, we've got some uh, hollowed out skull candles made by uh, Magical Misty, and we'll be ordering more uh, because it's quite a process to make these particular candles. Um, one, I don't have a lot of time to do. Um, and as my mom says, sometimes you just got to outsource some stuff. We've got traditional Haitian cologne going on the website. We've got Freda's cologne going on the website site. We have um, traditional enamel wear. We have traditional um, um, mugs, cups, and plates. And so what I will tell you guys, is like I've heard a lot of negative things about working with Azili Freda. I love Azili Freda. And I've heard all kinds of stuff about her hating Danto. And there's a lot of folklore behind um, the two sisters. But there are two different energies. I don't know if you've ever had that relative who you love. Y'all just don't get down because you have two different energies. So you don't, you know, you don't spend a lot of time together in the same places doing the same things. Look at the Erzili's of the different, there's so many of them like that. If they have differing energies, they just have different energies. But um, I love the Erzili's. That's why the store is named what it is, um, Divine Im uh, Feminine Energy Growing. And you all, if you are going to, you know, I always suggest that if you're going to venerate a spirit, I don't care if it's a voodoo spirit, what kind of spirit it is, get the help help from a um, initiated priest or priestess that can help you properly venerate a spirit because it's not about Ozili hating women. Ozili does not like sloppy, dirty, fuck shit. She wants everything clean, everything pretty. She rules me to a certain extent that I will snap off in my home and in my store if things are not just so. Um, she rarely shows up in possession at a lot of fets because a lot of it's dirty. <laughs> um, you know, she's the type of spirit that would want a um, a nice finished floor in her room at the Peristel versus a dirt floor. She does not like dirt. She does not like filth. She does not like it if you don't take care of yourself or your hygiene. If you talking about the uh, the um, Azuli with uh, that's about self care, that's Azuli Freda. She's about taking care of herself, looking good and feeling good. So I just wanted to share that information with you today. We've got some customers that just came into the store. And so I am going to let you guys go. But um, I'm going to have those other products up. It's my birthday. Hey, um, stop into the store today. We got some really nice specials. Stop into the customer group. We've got some really cool specials going on for my birthday. Sales have been insane. So thank you. 
Thank you to everybody who sent me a cash app personal gift for my birthday. I am fully enjoying that. And a little bit, I'm sure after I ate what I just ate, I will probably be inebriated. I had to call the other members of my family and make sure I was getting a ride to dinner tonight because I ain't driving. <laughs> So you all have a beautiful evening. I'm having a wonderful birthday. Don't feel sorry for me, Argentina, because I work every birthday of my goddamn life because I'm all about making my paper. Love, peace, Afro Greece. Stay black. Bye. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm good.